author this morning, I just want to read to you a little bit from his bio. So our author published the adventure book called The Glowing Mask in Hawaii based on a trip that he took to Maui. When he published his book, he automatically thought how he could use his book to help others, and this is what he decided. He decided to use the proceeds to start organic gardens and to partner with an organization and donate money to plant trees. He has now published his second book, The Mayan Prophecy, and has planted over 13,000 trees in seven countries like Mexico, Kenya, Brazil, Colombia, Honduras, and the Philippines, and India. He's also using the book to show kids that you don't have to be an adult or to be famous to make a difference in this world. And he's been invited to be a motivational speaker in many schools and community organizations. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce our speaker this morning, Rancho Del Rey's very own seventh grade student, Miguel Aldrete. for me. First, I want to ask, how many of you guys play sports? Wow, that's a lot of you. When you go to a game, your goal is to win, right? So you guys are setting goals all the time, and you might not even realize it. It's not only important to have goals in sports, but it's important to have goals in school, like getting a good grade on a test or going to college, which is a big one. You should also have some personal goals, like trying something that you've never tried before. When I was younger, I was really good at math and science, but I really struggled with reading and writing. So my parents encouraged me to just write 15 minutes a day for fun. And since it was for fun, I didn't realize that it was work. So I decided to set a higher goal for myself, to write and publish my very own book. And at the age of 10, I reached my goal of publishing my first book called The Glowing Mask in Hawaii. After I published it, I decided to set another goal for myself, which was to write a series of seven books. And at the age of 12, I published my second book called The Mind Prophecy, and I am currently working on my third. As you can see, I took something that was really hard for me, set a goal, and I did something that I never thought I could do. When I wrote these books, I thought, how can I use them to help others? So I created my own nonprofit organization called Kids for Our World. And for each book sold, I plant 10 trees. My original goal was to plant 1,000 trees. And I'm happy to say that now we have over 13,000 trees planted in seven different countries. Mexico, Brazil, Honduras, Colombia, India, Kenya, and the Philippines. Because of this, many doors have opened, including meeting charger players, meeting local politicians, getting interviewed by local radio, and by national TV. And this is really cool. Someone from Pixar made an app based on my book, which is selling for the iPhone and the iPad, and my ebooks are on my book is on ebooks, iBooks, and Amazon.com. Because of this, I learned three things on how to set a goal and accomplish it. Number one is to know your goal, know what you want to do. Number two is have a game plan, know how you're going to reach it. And number three is to never give up and always persevere. So don't be afraid to set high goals, because you either win some or you learn some. You can win by accomplishing your goal completely or learn by coming close, but you learn something along the way, but you can never lose. So you all know that the school has the goal of 900 API, and if we think of it as a team, each one doing our own individual part, I know we can reach it. So why don't we have a little friendly competition between this side and this side? Let's see who's the loudest, okay? So when I point to you guys, I want you guys to yell out 900. When I point over here, I want you guys to yell out API. And I heard you guys during lunch, you guys are pretty loud. Ready? Nine! say that like he won a writing award in the fourth grade and his teacher saw that he had an incredible talent and so they submitted it and that's how he started this you know writing books that's not what he said what did he say 
What do you say? Hey, I was good in math and science, but when it came to language arts and writing, man, I needed help. I needed work. I had to work at it. It was not easy. So I decided to work at it. And after publishing two novels and planting 13,000 trees around the world, I'm kind of getting better at it. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Next time you're bored, why don't you go plant 13,000 trees? How about that? Put your hands together for me, get today. Hey, man. My hat is off to you. You can tell. Because you know what? It's attitude. It's attitude. It's not win, win some, lose some. It's win some, learn some. If things aren't always going your way, you keep persevering. You keep working hard at it until you get better and better and better. That's what we always do as royals. That's what we're all called to do. You're called to do that as a student. You're also called to do that in your family, maybe through your church organizations, community organizations. That's what we're all about. Always reaching out to the others and always doing your best when it comes to handling responsibility. So Miguel is an outstanding example of that and I'm glad that he could be here today and he was willing to share his story with us. I'd like to thank Mr. Walsh, our principal, and all of the students at Rancho Del Rey for letting me share my story.